hello guys here's shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make desi chicken curry desi chicken means indian country chicken the meat of desi chicken is little hard to make it soft we need to use some curd but today i'm going to show you the recipe without any curd without any marination still the chicken curry will be super delicious and super soft so guys let's see the recipe at first we need to make a spices mixture so i have taken a frying pan and i'm adding some cooking oil at first i'm taking some onions i have taken about two cups of onion after slicing and now i'm adding half of it into the pan i'm gonna make a spices mixture with half of the onions and the rest half i'm going to use directly so i'm keeping it aside and now we need to fry the onions very nicely the heat is on medium now and i'm adding some dry coconut here we need to wait for a transparent color of the onions and after the color is transparent we need to add some cumin seeds and some coriander seeds so now the color is transparent and i'm making some space here and adding some more cooking oil now i'm adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds and one teaspoon of coriander seeds we need to add some more cumin seeds and some coriander seeds powder later so now i'm not adding them much in quantity after frying a little i'm gonna mix everything very well and after mixing everything nicely we need to wait for a brown color light brown color the heat is still on medium so now the color is light brown as you can see so now i'm turning the heat off and we need to cool down the mixture and now the spices are normal in temperature so i'm taking a mixer jar and adding the spices into the jar after that i'm taking a big size tomato roughly chopped and now i'm covering the jar and making a smooth paste of the spices and here our spices paste is ready as you can see i didn't use any water while grinding it but you may use if needed so let's keep it aside and here is our chicken i have taken 750 grams of desi chicken and you may notice that it's red in color and the meat of desi chicken is little hard i washed the chicken very nicely and drained the water properly and i'm not going to marinate the chicken without marination without curd i'm going to make this curry but still it will be soft and delicious so guys let's begin the main process here i have taken a pressure cooker and i turned the gas on my electricity is gone so i'm doing it on gas i'm adding some cooking oil in the pressure cooker and after the oil is heated well i'm adding some cumin seeds half teaspoon of cumin seeds two to three bay leaves after the cumin seeds are crackled well we need to add some ginger garlic i have taken some uh, crushed ginger garlic but you may use the paste there's no problem i'm adding about two teaspoons of crushed ginger garlic and after adding it we need to fry it for about uh, 20 to 25 seconds only and after that we need to add the onions here so now i'm adding rest of the onions now we need to fry the onions until a nice transparent color the flame is medium to low now so that the onions may fry quickly you may add some salt here so i'm adding a little salt to do the process quickly and now the color is nicely transparent as you can see now i'm adding the chicken here we need to drain the water very nicely there should be no water in chicken so after adding the chicken i'm mixing a little and now i'm gonna add the spices mixture we made previously and here it is i'm adding the spices paste but now i'm not adding any water washing the mixer jar i'm trying to remove the paste with the help of a spoon but i'm not wasting any spices because i'm gonna wash the mixer jar and add some water later so now without any water i remove the spices paste and now i'm mixing a little again and after that we need to add some spices powder so at first 
I'm adding some salt according to taste. We need to remember that we added some salt in the onions while frying. And now, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of uh, red chili powder according to taste, half teaspoon of paprika powder, or you can call it Kashmiri Lal Mirch powder for a brighter color, 2 teaspoons of ready made chicken masala. If you don't want to use it, you may skip it, there's no problem. And half teaspoon of garam masala. I'm gonna use some garam masala again later. So I'm using only half teaspoon now. And now we need to mix everything very nicely. After mixing well, we need to cover the pressure cooker. But not like that, just covering the cooker. Just like we are covering a pan with a lid. And now the chicken and the spices are mixed up well. And I'm covering the cooker. The heat should be on medium and uh, our electricity is back. So I have taken it on the heater. You may notice guys that some water is released from the chicken. And now we need to stir it very nicely. And after that I am going to cover the pan again. I mean cover the cooker again. Just like a pan. We need to wait for some time until the water is dried up and oil is released from the chicken and the spices. So it's okay now. In between we need to uncover the cooker and stir it nicely. And now so much oil is released from the spices and the chicken and the water is dried up very nicely as you can see. So now we need to add some water for gravy. You may add water according to your choice, there is no problem. And this is the spices water. I washed the mixer jar with some water and here it is. And now I am going to add some excess water. I am mixing it nicely. And uh, I think I need some more water. After adding water, we need to cover the pressure cooker with the vessel and the gasket. And we need to bring a single vessel on medium heat. Don't turn the heat on high. It should be on medium and now. You can see guys that the curry has started to boil. So now it's time to cover the pressure cooker properly. And bring it to a single vessel on medium heat. After the first vessel is here. We need to turn the heat off and after turning heat off, we need to release the pressure by ourselves. So I am releasing the pressure and after the pressure is released, we need to uncover the cooker and check the meat. If it is nicely soft or not. So I am checking it. If your chicken is not soft perfectly, then cover the cooker again and bring it to another vessel on medium heat. So I am checking the chicken with my hand. Our chicken is 100% cooked, but we need a softer chicken. We need a softer meat. So our chicken is perfectly soft as I need it. So our chicken curry is almost done. At the end of this recipe, we need to add some garnishing. I check the gravy and I need some more salt. So I'm adding some more salt according to taste. And now I'm adding half teaspoon of garam masala. One teaspoon of roasted kasuri methi. Kasuri methi is sun dried fenugreek leaves. I roasted it and now I'm crushing it and adding it in the curry. And now some fresh coriander leaves. I'm mixing everything nicely and after that I'm gonna add some sugar. I am adding half teaspoon of sugar now. This little quantity of sugar will balance all the taste of the curry. So I am adding half teaspoon of sugar and mixing everything nicely. After adding the garnishing, we need to boil the curry for another 2 minutes on medium to high heat. And after 2 minutes, our curry is ready. Now I am gonna turn the heat off and serve the chicken curry hot. You can serve this curry with boiled rice or roti chapati or any kind of naan or fried rice or uh, jeera rice, any kind of staple dish of India. It will be super delicious with all of them. So guys, try this simple recipe and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.